friends welcome back to my channel it is me Alana for this video I am going to be doing a long overdue book haul it wasn't until honestly today that I realized I haven't really done a book haul since maybe like February March time frame and I've acquired a lot of books since then so, this is basically going to be a three-month catch-up of all the books I've bought. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to make this as quick and as painless as possible. I'm going to show you everything I was sent or that I bought within that time frame and go from there. So, I'm going to go ahead and just get started and then hopefully this will not take super duper long. So, first things first, the one thing that I managed to get my hands on that I'm like super proud of, I haven't opened it fully yet, but I'm just so excited because I know these are super beautiful, but I bought the box set of Throne of Glass. But it's the UK covers editions, like the white ones. I was so happy when I found these because, not gonna lie, like, the other covers are, are pretty. Like, I like them enough. But when I saw the white UK versions, I have wanted them for a minute. They're so pretty to me. I think they are just so, like, pristine. So, I'm just excited to have this. And I didn't actually have to spend that much money on them. So, next, um, I bought Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Um, next I have Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend. Next I bought The Romantic Agenda by Claire Kahn. Honestly, this cover, this cover is gorgeous to me. And the synopsis sounded really good. It's, um, about a 30-year-old asexual who's, like, secretly in love with her best friend. And that just sounded amazing. Um, next I have The Unplanned Life of Josie Hale by Stephanie Edding. Next I got The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I've seen a lot of bookstagram posts about Sarah Adams' books and a lot of people seem to love her as a romance writer. So I wanted to go ahead and give it give it a chance and I, when I saw this at Target I thought it was perfect timing so I went ahead and grabbed it. The Stand-In by Lily Chu. Um, I also got this from Target. And I believe this one's about a girl who, like, has, finds out she's, like, a doppelganger in this actress or whatever. And the actress decides to let her take her over her life for what, however long so she can get a break or something like that. So the next thing I did grab was a nonfiction, and that's When Thoughts and Prayers Aren't Enough. A friend of mine recommended this book written by a survivor of gun violence, and I thought it maybe would be a helpful book to read. Next, I have A Brush With Love by Maisie Eddings. So I saw this. I think someone reviewed it somewhere, maybe like YouTube or bookstagram and their review made me want to read this so badly so I just went ahead and picked it up so then next I grabbed Desperate Measures by Katie Robert I've never read a Katie Robert book but I've seen so many people praise her over the last like two years so I went ahead and just snagged one of her books to see if it was one I would enjoy next I also snagged um Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie I also snagged the ABC Murders but I do not have it here with me right now I have been really wanting to get into different genres this year and one of the things I wanted to try and get to was mystery thriller and a lot of people say Agatha Christie's books are a great way to get into them so I thought I would give it a try. Next was another anticipated read of the year and that was Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. So I grabbed this. I think it came out in April, May, March time frame within that. <laughs> Next, I grabbed A Curious Beginnings by Deanna Rayborn, and again, I've been trying to get to the mystery thriller genre, so I thought this would be a fun time. Next, so I did grab the paperback version of The War of Two Queens because the hardcover was, like, delayed or whatever, whatever, and I did want to read this. And then I actually, um, my friend Tiana just grabbed me the hardcover signed edition of The War of Two Queens because I have all of the books in hardcover so far, and... I like them to match. 
So I went ahead and snagged these. So next I have um, Witchlings by Clarabelle A. Ortega. Um, this is a middle grade that I think recently came out. I also have A Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lynn. So this sounded really, really good. And I di think I did a pre-order for this from Barnes & Noble. Next, I also bought The Deal by L. Kennedy, which is, I think this is the first book in her off-campus series, which I've heard a lot of things about. And so when they finally started um, putting like physical copies of the books in Barnes & Noble, I went ahead and snagged this because I do want to give it a try. Next, I got Sun Kissed by Casey West. Next, I also grabbed I Hate You More by Lucy Gilmore. This seemed like a fun enemies to lovers romance almost that involves dogs. Next I grabbed the Spanish Love Deception. I've heard mixed reviews about this one but I grabbed it because I wanted to try and read it myself and see what my views would be on my own. Next I bought another uh, Jill Shalva's book, Dead Came You. Um, so next I bought The Candle in the Flame by Nafisa Azad. Um, this I got in California when I was visiting a friend and I'm not gonna lie this was completely a cover buy because it is so gorgeous and it gave me an ember in the ashes vibes like I know it's probably not gonna be anywhere similar to that story but it just gave me those vibes. Then I also bought Cast in Firelight by Data Swift also in California and this also gave me ember vibes and this cover is also gorgeous so it was also a cover buy. <laughs> so next when Monet from Life Without Monet came out to uh, DC to visit me, um, we got to hang out a lot and we actually stopped by Barnes & Noble because, of course, and she bought me two books because she is my favorite. And she, the first book she got me was The City of Dusk by Tara Sim, which I actually just finished and gave four stars and this book is amazing. This was technically a cover buy because I walked past it, saw the cover, and came back and picked it up <laughs> and I thought you know I'm gonna read this because this cover is gorgeous and then I actually read it and it was actually really really good and then Monet also bought me The Betrayals by Bridget Collins um I found the paperback of this in Barnes & Noble when we were there and then Monet was raving about it so so much and then was like actually you should just buy the hardcover because it's beautiful and then I looked and I was like you're right um and so I found it and Monet bought me this all right and then the next book I actually pre-ordered was Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Lee so next two books I bought were books one and two Little White Lies and Deadly Little Scandals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes um I originally had the first book of Little White, White Little White Lies in hardcover but then they did a cover change and they only released the second book with this cover so I had to go back and buy both because that would have just driven me nuts next I also bought um Gods of Jade and Shadow and Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I absolutely loved the beautiful ones, so I figured I would go ahead and snag the, these uh, backlist titles of hers and check them out and see if I would enjoy these as well. Then I bought The Roughest Draft by Austin Sigmund Broca and Emily Weberly. I enjoyed their YA books, so I wanted to give their uh, first adult romance a try and see how I feel about it. And then the next book I have is Doll A for Aunties by Jessie Q. Sutanto. So this was definitely a Chanel recommendation that I bought. She raves about this book all the time, so I went ahead and snagged it because it sounded like a fun little cozy mystery. Alright, so these next two stacks I actually bought today. <laughs> In my defense, I've been having a really rough, I feel like, couple of months. <laughs> Just with trying to do school, my student teaching, and some other stuff. And I really haven't been doing a lot of book buying. I haven't been like going to the bookstore or anything like that really because I've just been so busy and so today I just finally had a day to like take a me day and go do something I wanted to do for fun so I decided to go ahead and um go to the bookstore and just kind of relax with all of that said here are the books that I bought so the first one I got was A Proposal They Can't Refuse by Natalie Kana so this sounded like a cute little romance. Then I grabbed Twin Crowns by Katherine Doyle and Katherine 
Weber. Wow, I did not realize they were both named Catherine. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this was kind of a cover by... Next, I have another, um... Emily Weberly and Austin Sigma broke a book I got with and without you, um, which is uh, their one of their newer YA uh, books. These next two books are both recommended by my friend, my bestie Cell. Um, first, I have Son of the Storm by Sui Davies Akungumbawa. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong, but yeah. And then the next book I grabbed because of Cell was A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. So this is one of Cell's all-time favorite books. They rave about it all the time, so I finally went ahead and snagged it so I can give it a chance and see if it's one I would enjoy too. Right, next I have The Throne of the Five Winds by S.C. Emmett. Next I also grabbed A Promise of Fire by Amanda Bouchette. Alright, next I have Thank You Next by Andy J. Christopher. First, this is really short, which is what I love. Also, this is about a divorce lawyer. She decides to go on this wild adventure to reconnect with all her ex-boyfriends and see why they broke up. And then I also bought Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn. And then I grabbed Forging Silver and Stars by Bridget Kemmerer. Kemmerer. I've actually never read one of her books before, but the synopsis sounded interesting. So those are all the books I bought. Now, I have two books I was sent by publishers, and then the rest are just the fairy little books that I've received over the past few months. So um, I was sent Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley, and honestly, this, uh, this cover looks gorgeous. And then the next book I was sent was *The Chosen and the Mu View The Chosen and the Beautiful* by Ning Evo. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. I think I remember this one being sold as like a Great Gatsby re retelling, but like gender bent. All right, and so fairy loot books. So um, I have *The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea* by Axie O, which I'm actually really ex excited because I wanted this, and so I was excited to learn that they like had it. Um, so first of all, this is gorgeous. This is the the cover, the spine, and then the inside is honestly pretty dope as well. And then also the stencil. So we love that. This is also one of those books. It, it is one of the books that I'm going to be trying to read with um, A Magic Seeped in Poison. And the other book I'm actually going to read with these two is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. So this is freaking gorgeous. Fairy Loot, they did it. They did it with this because what is this? This is freaking amazing. Like, look at that stenciling. The fact that it matches the cover is amazing. And then the inside is just as gorgeous. Um, so we love that. And then also the stencil. I believe these are the main characters. I am so excited to read this. And then the next book that I received from Fairy Loot, which is The Blood Scion by Deborah Faye. Filet. So um, this cover is pretty good. I really like it. I don't know how I feel about this book because I've heard mixed things about it in general. Also this is the inside. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it but I've decided that I'm willing to give it a chance um, just because why not? All right and then the last book I have from Fairy Loot finally is uh, The Start of Dust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. So uh, actually I believe Cell just read this and they were raving about it and so when I got this to my box I was like wait who was just raving about this and it was them and so I'm kind of excited to check it out now because I don't know. So liked it. Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I am going to be doing a little birthday book haul. So I have accumulated um, a couple of books over the last month. And so I decided to go ahead and just film this book haul before it gets too crazy. And I don't think I plan on buying any more books right now, so I figured it was a good time to do it. So, um, some of these were gifts, some of these were gifts to myself, uh, <laughs> for my birthday, and some of these were book box subscriptions. So, we're just gonna dive right in. 
So first I have two books that were gifted to me from my friend Michelle from Michelle's library and so thank you to her for sending them to me because I'm so excited to get these and I'm just so thankful for her and her friendship. Um, so yeah. So the first book she sent me was Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. I'm definitely intrigued by this. I will admit I have not read a lot of sapphic romances um, lately so I do want to kind of get into them and I've seen everybody raving about this and this cover is really beautiful so I figured this would be probably a good way to dive in. Michelle also sent me Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry by Joya Goffney. So Monet recommended this to me last year so I added it to my wish list because she absolutely loved it and I'm really excited to see if I love this as much as Monet did. So the next gift I got was from Chanel, my bestie, and she got me She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. I've seen so many people rave about this book, especially like I think Cell and Chanel and maybe even Monet. So I'm really hyped to check this out and give it a chance and I'm so so excited. I subscribed to Illumicate this summer because I wanted to see what the hype was all about and so their I believe this is their June book um was We All Fall Down by Rose Zabo so I really um like this cover it's very very gorgeous but I'm willing to give this a chance I really I feel like I've heard about this but I also feel like I haven't so I don't really know all right so then um, Monet gave me like $30, a $30 gift card to Amazon, so I definitely used that to get some stuff. And, um, the first one I got was A Sign of Affection Volume 5, so I've really been loving this manga series. And so I technically already read this, but I wanted a physical copy to go with my series, so I managed to grab this. Um, this is about a girl who is deaf and she's kind of just living her life but she's like afraid a little bit of the hearing world because it's so unknown to her um but she meets this guy who's hearing and she falls for him super fast and they go on this adventure of just like starting this relationship and really getting to know each other and it's just super adorable and cute and i absolutely love it next i got a winter's promise by um christella davos cell was like selling this to me recently um and so i went ahead and bought it because it just sounded like it might be my cup of tea so i went ahead and just grabbed it so the next book i grabbed was holopax the hunt for morgan crow by jessica townsend so i recently read the second book which was um wondersmith and i really enjoyed it so i went ahead and decided that i was going to continue on in the series and i bought the third book so I'm really excited to check it out. Alright, so these next couple of books I kind of just bought myself because I was just on a buying spree. spree. So um, there were a couple books that I didn't really like the US covers for. So I went and I got the UK covers, which I rarely ever do, but I really liked those more. So I went ahead and grabbed them. So the first book I grabbed was Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. So this sounded just really intriguing to me. And I see, I saw a lot of people talking about it. So I went ahead and snagged it. And this is like the UK cover rather than the US cover. So next I grabbed The Final Strife by Sarah El Arifi. So so I saw that I've been seeing this for the past few months. I was really intrigued by it. Um, I kind of like the US cover, but I realized I like the UK cover more. Like I love this red. It's so pretty. So that's why I snagged it. Also, look at the inside of this book. So pretty. I love it. It's just, oh, that doesn't have anything. I love it. It's just so gorgeous to me. So I'm really, really excited for this. So the next book I grabbed was The Darkening by Sunya Mara. So this cover was so gorgeous. Like I liked, I actually did like the US cover for this. But when I saw the UK cover, I was like, look at this. Look at how it shines. It's so pretty. The next books I got, so I recently read Queen of the Tearling. And so I went ahead and I just bought the rest of the books in the series. Because <laughs> I wanted to read them. So I got The Invasion of the Tearling, which is book two. Um, Fate of the Tearling, which is book three. And then Beneath the Keep, which is a new uh, novella set. So I got all of these and I'm so hyped to have them and continue on in the series. Because I think it's going to be super good. So I also got... Um, Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. This sounded really interesting to me and I've been eyeing it for months and it finally came out in July or June so I was really excited. So the next book I grabbed was Ice Planet Barbarians. 
<laughs> I'm not even gonna read the synopsis for this because I think everybody has heard of this by now. But I just went ahead and snagged the first one because I was like, I, why not give it a try? Why not be like everybody else for a moment and just give it a chance? So the next book I grabbed was The Candid Life of Mina Dave. Davi? Dave or Davi? I, I don't know. But my, by Namrata Patel. So then I also got my Fairy Loot July box. And in that one, they had two books. So the first book they had was Twin Crowns by Katherine Weber and Katherine Doyle. So I actually have the hardcover of this. So I wasn't expecting this to be in there. But I'm really excited because this is gorgeous. Like, look at that. It's so beautiful. Like, oh my god. Fairy Loot. Put their foot in this so i'm really excited for this now and then they also sent me um vicious grace which was their like official july book by emily feed um this one is pretty too i really like the yellow um i don't really know what this one is about but i've seen a lot of people talking about it so then all right i have three four more books so uh, next i got her majesty's royal coven by juno dawson um this one sounded really interesting and the cover i was really intrigued by so the next book i got was a curse of blood and stone by k.a tugger this is the sequel to F fate of wrath and flame um i don't even know how to describe that book i'm gonna be completely honest with you so i encourage you to read a synopsis of the first book and go look it up um i'm not gonna read the synopsis of this one because spoilers but I really enjoyed the first book. I was so confused by it, but I really enjoyed it at the same time. So I'm really excited to pick this up and see what she does with it. So the next book I also got was Ordinary Monsters by J.M. Miro. I was definitely intrigued by this cover. And then when I read the synopsis, I was intrigued more. Gave me X-Men vibes. So I was like, bet, we're here for it. So then the last book that I actually bought, which is a pre-order, which is actually coming tomorrow, like, as I'm filming this, is new Silvio Marino Garcia book, The Doctor of Daughter, the Daughter of Dr. Murrow. So I pre-ordered that, and I'm really, really excited to get to it, because I really loved the beautiful ones, and I own most of her books now, the backlist ones, so I'm excited to get to those, but I also wanted to buy her new book, because it sounded really intriguing. Those are all the books that I have bought this summer so far. I think those are the books I'm going to probably just end the summer with um but i'm really excited for all these um thank you to everyone who sent me gifts for my birthday i really appreciate it um so yeah let me know which books you're excited to read um which one let me know if you read any of these and you think i'll like them um let me know some books that you're anticipating for the fall so i can add them to my list because i have not been keeping up with that stuff unfortunately and yeah if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all those in the comment section. And if you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You're also flowers in a world full of weeds.